Welcome again to another Good News program. It's good to be back this week. I pray that you've had a wonderful week. We're trusting in the Lord that, that you've been blessed. And uh, we have Brother Dallas with us. He's going to be singing tonight. And uh, Sister Judy is here to answer the telephones. Brother Joe is here uh, to be our prayer partner. And uh, we're just looking for God to do something very special tonight. Uh, had a request that we pray for all of the citizens at Brookdale here in Hickory. Uh, also pray for eyes. Uh, Ron and Peggy request prayer for uh, the sick. Uh, Mary Hudson uh, needs our prayers. She has some health issues. And we want to send a song out to Billy, Billy Ray uh, Royal up in uh, North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. And uh, a, great, a great faithful sponsor of the Good News program and has been for uh, many years. And we appreciate everything that people do for this broadcast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let Brother Dallas sing you a song, and we'll send this out to Brother Billy Ray. Like I say, it's good to be back with you all tonight. Just thank the Lord for another privilege to be able to try to stand and do something for him. And we just pray that we can be a blessing to you tonight. Just pray for us. In the garden of Gethsemane, I can see our Savior. I ask you to uh, remember Loretta Howler and Son Buck in prayer. Amanda and Alan Sigmund needs prayer. Dolores Buff needs prayer. Uh, also, uh, Alta uh, wants us to pray for William. And uh, that's... Uh, her grandson, and he wants us, William does, to pray for Papa John. He's in the rehab and has, is pretty sick, so let's remember them in prayer. Uh, I'd like for you to pray for Linda and William and Melissa, Dee and grandchildren, especially Ara, Mason, Emily, and friend Tina and family, and also the Melody family and pray for health and also for their eyes. Uh, 
Uh, Jane from up in Morganton has some unspoken requests and also she has some health issues and we'd like to remember her in prayer. So we're going to let Brother Dallas go ahead and bless you in a song. Go ahead, Brother Dallas. God's children too long have been burned up. They are longing for heaven's green shore. Where heartaches are left far behind us. couple of announcements to make. Uh, Sister Judy's church at the Acker Church of God, uh, they're going to be having their homecoming on Sunday, October the 30th at 10.30 a.m. And they'll have special guest speakers or special guests, uh, Tracy and Matt Gunter. And also everyone is invited. Also, we will be honoring our pastor and wife, Reverend Tim and Brenda Campbell. And there will be lunch followed at the fellowship hall. So remember the homecoming at the Acord Church of God on Sunday, October the 30th at 10.30 a.m. And uh, I'll tell you, these Church of God women really know how to do some cooking and fixing, so yeah, I know you'll enjoy it. So go out and be with them, Brother Tim and them, uh, at the uh, Acker Church of God on Sunday, October the 30th. And also, Sister Debbie that uh, comes with Brother Dallas and them, and she's spoken on the broadcast several times. Uh, her husband, Robert Barker, uh, is having some health problems and uh, they're fairly they're serious and uh, so they're having a benefit uh, for him a fundraiser for Robert and it's going to be on November the 6th at the Porsche Chapel Missionary Methodist Church on Playmore Beach Road in Lenore and they're going to be having plates like pintos and fixins, and it will be from 12 to 2 p.m. And uh, there's no cost; it's all donations. So if you want to donate something for Robert, why uh, feel free to go and do so. And uh, Robert's been battling some health issues for quite some time, and he's a wonderful gentleman. And him and Sister Debbie, and remember Sister Debbie in prayer. You know, when your spouse is sick, uh, it takes a toll on you. And uh, I know she stood by him and is standing by him. So just uh, remember Robert in your prayers and Debbie in your prayers. And remember the fundraiser on Sunday, November the 6th. It's going to be at Porch Chapel Missionary Methodist Church. Uh, from 12 to 2 p.m. 
and its church is located at Playmore Beach Road in Lenore, North Carolina. And again, also, don't forget the homecoming, October the 30th, at the Eichard Church of God, and that's where Sister Judy goes to church. Uh, prayer and a song for Peggy Webb. Uh, Rick Clark and family needs prayer. Remember them in the loss of his mom, Betty Clark. Uh, we're so sorry, Rick, for the loss of your mother. And anytime we lose a loved one, it's it's hard. Uh, Adam Crowder needs prayer uh, back, and also uh, for Amanda who has problem with the kidneys. Uh, pray for Jerry for healing. Pray for Annie Nichols, Teresa, and prayer for Ruth. So we are going to let Brother Dallas bless you in a wonderful song. Go ahead, Brother Dallas. I'd like to do this for the ones that called in and requested her. Thank the Lord for these praying moms that stands by us and looks out for us. And we sure will miss them when they're gone. There's a little story I'd like to share with you. This woman, she was raising this boy, and she raised him in church and told him about the Lord all of her life. And he grew up, and he got out of church, and he started running around doing things he shouldn't do and everything else. And she started getting prayer cloths and putting them under his pillar. And the preacher would come by and they'd pray for him and stuff and everything. But she never did give up. She just kept praying. And finally she passed away. And a few months later, the boy was going down the road on a motorcycle. And the Lord started dealing with him. He pulled over the side of the road, gave his heart to the Lord and got saved. First thing he wanted to do is call that old preacher and tell him about it. So he called that preacher and he asked him, he told him, he said, preacher, he said, guess what? He said, I just got saved tonight. And preacher said, well, that's great. He said, I wish your mom could have been there with you. I wish your mom could have been with us. He said, that's all right, preacher. He said, you know, God went and got mom by the hand. Larry will watch as he wrote my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. So if you got a young and it's going out and seeing, you've been praying for him, don't give up. Just keep praying. God may not answer that prayer in your time, but God will answer your prayer. He said he'd answer our prayers because he loves us. So let me encourage you tonight, if you've got young and just lost and you're, you're still trying to get him into church, just keep praying for him. As long as you're praying, God's hearing that prayer, and there's still hope as long as it's breath in them bodies. Thank you, Lord. I'm going 
to meet her in that land across the sea. A pretty rose without a thorn is what mama was to me. A pretty rose without a thorn is what mama was to me. Special prayer for Georgie Shaw uh, has had coronavirus, and she would like to have a song sung for her. Uh, remember Dorothy from over in Statesville. Uh, her son, uh, he is having breathing problems, so remember him in prayer. Uh, Mildred Norton uh, needs prayer. Uh, wants to hear, someone wants to hear Dallas sing God's Record Book. And Robert Hartster uh, is in the hospital and wants to hear the song, I Believe. And so also remember his wife, Lo Lois, and his son, Ronnie, when you pray. They need your prayers. Go ahead, Brother Dallas, and bless these folks in a song. I like to do this song for Ray and Cornelius Crow, too. They had an interesting week and just pray be a blessing to them. To be well known of me, I may not ever be. I'm sure my name will not go down in history. There'll be no marble plaques to tell of my good deeds. Don't forget the fundraiser for Robert Barker, that's Sister Debbie's husband that comes with Brother Dallas. Uh, they're having a benefit fundraiser for Robert uh, on Sunday, November the 6th at Porch Chapel Missionary Methodist Church. The church is located at Playmore Beach Road over in Lenore. They're having pintos and fixings plates and it's going to be from 12 to 2 p.m., and they're only taking donations, so there's not no uh, price on the plates. It's just all by donation, and the donation goes to help uh, Brother Robert. Uh, also, uh, Sister Judy's church, uh, the Acker Church of God, will be having homecoming services with special guests, and they will be Tracy and Matt Gunter, uh, everyone is invited, and also there will be honoring their pastor and wife, 
the Reverend Tim and Brenda Campbell. Lunch will follow after the, at the fellowship hall. So go out and be with them and enjoy an afternoon of blessings and fellowship, and I know you'll, you'll be blessed to go. So go and be with them. They would appreciate it. Uh, go ahead, Brother Dallas, and bring us a song. I got several requests for this one, so I'll try to get in there. When I see the sunrise in the morning, when I feel the wind blow across my face, when I hear the sound of children playing, I know it's all a part of God. Pray for Georgie Shaw uh, has had coronavirus and she would like to have a song. Also, Mildred Norton uh, wants special prayer. Uh, of course, they request Dallas to sing uh, God's record book. Uh, pray for Robert Hartster. He's in the hospital and he wanted to hear the song, I Believe. And also remember his wife, Louise, and their son. And also, I would like for you to remember Rayvon Prestwood. And that uh, he has many special requests. And he's got one special one. And he says, I hope you will pray with me that God will move soon. And I know God can move. And uh, we're going to be praying and standing in agreement with him. So we're going to let uh, Brother Dallas bring you another song. Go ahead, Brother Dallas. Troubles come and I can't find an answer Lonely nights I spend in agony I have no other friend that I can turn to So here I am, Lord, back upon my knees It's me again, Lord, I got a prayer to need it's me again, Lord, got a problem I can solve. Well, I don't mean to worry you, but here I am facing something new, and I need help that only comes from you. It's me again, Lord. Well, I know you're mighty busy in your heaven, forming worlds and hanging stars to shine. But you promised if I'd asked, but I'd receive it. So here I am, Lord, asking. 
everything one more time. It's me again, Lord. I got a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again, Lord. Got a problem I can solve. Well, I don't mean to worry you. But here I am facing something new. And I need help that only comes from you. It's me again, Lord. Well, I don't mean to worry you. But here I am facing something new. And I need help that only comes from you. It's me again, Lord. I'd like for you to remember Larry Gibson in prayer uh, because he has lost his wife Kathy to cancer, so remember them in prayer. I uh, want to send a song out for Mabel Price. Uh, pray for Matthew. He was in a car accident. Robert Tolleson uh, has dental problems and needs healing of his left ankle. Also, remember his mom and brother. Also, his caregiver, Miss Regina. And pray for Gloria Little, Martha Goolidge, Tyler Goolidge, Mickey Goolidge, Brilee Goolidge. Need remember them in prayer. Billy Henderson's continued prayer for eyes and a song, Rose Without a Thorn. And also a special prayer for Gerald Church. Uh, Christian has several uh, unspoken requests that they would like for us to help them to pray about. Also, we have another announcement that that's came in. Uh, this Sunday, that would be tomorrow, the Thomas Street Church of God uh, is having their homecoming. And Mike Morrison will be the speaker. They'll be singing. There'll be a meal after meal. And Pastor Ken Nelson invites everyone. We love you, Brother Ken. Uh, you're a wonderful man. You've been a, a wonderful uh, district pastor. And I know that uh, you miss Kathy and... You know, I know what that's like. You know, I lost Sister Hazel about six years ago and will be seven years, I think, the 9th of November. So anyway, I know your feelings, but we love you, and may God richly bless you. And I'm going to tell you something. There is some wonderful folks over there in Thomas Street over in Stony Point. So uh, uh, the church is located in Stony Point at the Thomas Street. It's on Thomas Street, and Mike Morrison is going to be the speaker, and there's going to be singing, and they really have some good music in that church. Brother Tommy Smith's son and them, they all, those family, they make music, and uh, they're having a meal afterwards, so go out and be with them. I know they would be glad to have you. Go ahead, Brother Dallas, and bring us another song. I like to do this for Billy Oliver, and... Uh... Also, I like to do it for, for Myrtle Abernathy. I can't take a heart that's broken, make it over again. But I know a man who can. I can't take a soul that's sensitive, make it wild. Feel no one can help you and your life. 
We want to thank everyone that has ever given and is given to the Good News program. We appreciate what you do because without you, we wouldn't be able to be here. And it's been a wonderful week this week. And we thank you and we pray that God will multiply and bless you for what you have donated to the Good News program that we may be able to come into your home and try to bring you some words of encouragement and also to try to enlighten you about the situation that our country is in today and how that we really need to pray. And you know, God can't bless a mess. And our country has got itself into a mess. And unless America repents and turns back to God, God can't bless his people. Well, we, we can cry day and night, but if we don't repent, then I don't know how that would work. I do know how it would work. We just wouldn't be blessed, but God has blessed us with a wonderful nation, and the devil is trying everything he can to destroy our country and to destroy the morals, standards that our country held as witnesses for Jesus Christ. And these are the ones that gave on the broadcast this week. And again, thank you so much. And some are out there that maybe have never given. You're invited to give to the Good News Program. Just send your donations uh, by check or money order uh, to uh, the Good News Program, P.O. Box 23, Wilkesboro, North Carolina, 28697. So here's the ones that gave this week on the program. Gilbert from Taylorsville, Robert and Jeannie from Monroe, and I asked you to still remember them in prayer. Uh, Dorothy from Statesville, Bill and Lib from West Jefferson, uh, Patty from Morganton, Jane from Morganton, Nancy from Wadesboro, Linda from China Grove, uh, Presswood from Collettsville, North Carolina. Uh, also, Philip, Kathy, and Lindsay, our Oklahoma buddies and friends and brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, uh, Alta from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Dolores from Hickory. Billy Ray from North Wilkesboro. Patricia from Morganton. Ronald and Peggy from down in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, Irene from Hickory. Anne from Mount Holly. Trula from Crumpler. And Gerald and Wilma. And we just thank each one of you for what you've done this week helping on the Good News program. Uh, again, let me remind you of these announcements, and Brother Dallas is going to bring us a song, and we're going to go into the Word of God. The Acker Church of God will be having homecoming services with special guests Tracy and Matt Gunter, and everyone is invited. Also, we'll, they'll be honoring their pastor and wife, Reverend Tim and Brenda Campbell. And lunch will follow in the Fellowship Hall Sunday, October the 30th at 10.30 a.m. Also, this coming Sunday, tomorrow, the Thomas Street Church of God will be having homecoming there. And their guest speaker will be Mike Morrison. They'll be singing uh, meals after... Um, meal afterwards. Uh, pastor Ken Nelson is their pastor and he invites him and the church invites everyone to come and to be with them. Okay. And don't forget the fundraiser for Brother Robert Barker is Sunday, November the 6th at Porch Chapel Missionary Methodist Church on Playmore Beach Road in Lenore. They'll be having pintos and fixings, plates, and it's from 12 to 2, and it's all donations. You just give a donation in to help uh, Brother Barker. And here's the ones that's given. Oh, uh, Gilbert from Taylorsville, Robert and Jeannie from Monroe, Dorothy from Statesville, Bill and Lee from West Jefferson. And uh, I want to remind you that uh, some of these folks have not been able to get the program on TV. But they do pick us up on YouTube 
on Wednesdays. Usually by Wednesday we have the Sunday, the Saturday nights uh, program posted on the Good News program. So if you miss it by TV, just uh, go in on YouTube. Uh, right up the Good News Program, WHKY TV, and you'll see the Good News Program. And uh, we praise the Lord for what He is doing. Uh, we have Patty from Morgan, Jane from Morganton, Nancy from Wadesboro, Linda from China Grove, Presswood from Collettsville, Philip, Kathy, and Lindsay from Morganton, Alta from Rock Hill, South Carolina, Dolores from Hickory, Billy Ray from North Wilkesboro, Patricia from Morganton, Ronald and Peggy from Gastonia, Irene uh, from Hickory, and from Mount Holly. Uh, Trula from Crumpler and Gerald and Wilma. We appreciate you so much for what you all are doing for the Lord. Go ahead, Brother Dallas, and bring us a song. As the world looks upon me, as I struggle along, and they say, He does give us blessings, doesn't he? Reading out of the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 6, Jesus had these words to say, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for thou shall be filled. David said in Psalms 37 and 4, For us to delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Because Psalms 107 tells us, For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Are you hungering and thirsting after his righteousness? Are you delighting yourself in the Lord? Because if you do, this is a promise. He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Many, many people call in their prayer requests and there's many sicknesses and afflictions 
diseases, heartaches, troubles, financial situations. Any way you turn, there seems to be a lot of turmoil and a lot of problems, doesn't it? Many of you have been afflicted and sick for quite some time, some of you for several years. But I want to encourage you tonight. If you're hungering and thirsting after the touch of God upon your life, it will happen. See, if we delight ourselves in the Lord, He shall give thee the desire of our heart. He knows what the desire of your heart is. But just delight yourself in Him. Because He satisfieth the longing soul and, the, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. In God's, John's Gospel, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus had gone up to Jerusalem to the feast. Now there at Jerusalem, by there was a sheep market, and by that sheep market, there was a pool. And in the Hebrew tongue, that pool was called Bethesda. And these porches was five porches. And in on these porches there were a great multitude of impotent folks. I want you to notice what kind of folks there was there. There was blind, there was halt, there was withered. What were they there for? Just gathering around the pool? No. Because they were there seeking a miracle from God. Because you see, at a certain season, an angel would come down and trouble the water. And whosoever was the first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. <laughs> Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? But you know, we, we don't have to gather around a pool now. We don't have to wait for the angel to come and to trouble the water to be touched by God's hand. I feel the Spirit of God moving in this place tonight. Many of you are sick and afflicted. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Many are having eye problems. Some are having battles with sickness and disease. Some have various things happening to them. And you've wondered and you've longed for a good while, many of you, if you're a long time, for a touch from the hand of God. We don't have to gather by the pool. We don't have to wait for the angel to trouble the water. Yes, amen. See, God sent his son into this world. Not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And his son, before he was crucified, was beaten by the Roman soldiers with the cat of nine tails. And he bore 40 stripes upon his body. And the broken pottery and the things that was in the whip, the nine cords come down across his back and tore the flesh from his body. And every one of those stripes was for a healing yes, of sickness and disease. Yes, 
And you no longer have to wait for the angel to trouble the waters. The price has already been paid. And while they were gathered there at the pool, there was a certain man there that had an infirmity. How long did he have his infirmity? 38 years, 30 and 8 years. It's a long time, isn't it? I don't know how long you've had your infirmity. I don't know how long you've been sick. I don't know how long you've been having these problems in your body. But God hasn't forgotten about you. He knows about you. Jesus knows. Because when Jesus saw the man lie and knew that he had been now a long time in this case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Can you hear those words being spoken to you by the Holy Spirit? Wilt thou be made whole? And the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, another steppeth down before me. See, we have our reasons why. But Jesus said unto this man, Take up thy bed and walk. So simple, wasn't it? And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked on the same day. And of course, it was on the Sabbath day. And then they were crucified. They were, well, they weren't crucified, but it was wrong. They caught criticism because he had healed the sick on the Sabbath day. After he had took up the bed and walked, and that he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed him away, a multitude being in that place. And afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon thee. And the man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which made him whole. Yes. Jesus can make you whole. Yes, Lord. Remember what I told you in Matthew? Jesus said, Blessed are they which do in hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And to delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Yes. And he satisfieth the longing soul, and fill the hungry soul with goodness. Jesus said in John 6 and 35, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. I know you've hungered and thirsted for a touch from the mighty God we serve. Yes, Lord. And Jesus is that bread. Yes. He could feel that hunger in your soul. The hunger to be made whole. The hunger to be healed. And set free from your afflictions and your infirmities. And your sicknesses and your diseases. And your bondages. He can do that. Oh, I'm going to tell you something tonight, my friends. Someone requested that I pray for them for their eyesight. And this is what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to pray, and they said, Raise your hand up in front of the screen. I want to put my hand against your hand. That TV doesn't have no anointing in it. The anointing comes from God above. 
It works through the Holy Spirit that He has given unto us. The gift of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit and the anointing works through that Spirit. And I'm going to tell you tonight that Spirit is in this place. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is in this place. <laughs> Remember, he said, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of our heart. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you tonight, if you can reach that TV screen, lay your hand upon my hand and trust and believe in God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the bread of life. He'll fill that hunger and that longing down in your soul. Uh, you've cried out many times, Lord, touch me, heal me, Lord. Deliver me, O oh Lord. And I believe tonight's the night that the Holy Spirit is moving to touch you. Let him touch you tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, touch these eyes that are going blind. We rebuke the spirit of blindness. We rebuke the eye problems that's in the world today. Almighty oh, God, touch that one, Lord, that's sick in their body, Lord. Touch them and make them whole, Lord. Lord, those that are crippled tonight, Lord, give strength into their, their limbs and into their legs, Lord. Oh, God, open the deaf ear, Lord. Open it up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the holy name of Jesus, God, perform your miracles, Lord, in these last days, Lord, that we're living in. God, God, touch this country. Touch America, Lord. God, let her a conviction come upon her, Lord, and let her know she must repent because without repentance there is no remission for sin. But God, through repentance, you can bless America again. You can fix our problems, Lord. And Father, we ask you, Lord, to touch us now, Lord. Touch those tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch them and make them whole, Lord. In thy name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Brother Dallas, would you bring us a song, please? Thank you, Jesus. When my way grow up clear, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry. said in Matthew 21 and 22 and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive don't be discouraged don't be downhearted and broken 
Your blessing is on the way. Your blessing is coming. The Word of God is true. God is not a liar. The Son of God's not a liar. The Holy Ghost is not a liar. It's all truth. And he said, in all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. When you ask, believe, and you shall receive. I know that someone tonight got touched by the hand of God. Paul said in Romans 8, 32, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? He will give you desires of your heart if you ask in faith, believing. We're going to let Brother Dallas take us off with the song, if he will. And we just pray that you've been blessed tonight and you've been touched by the mighty hand of our wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>